Good afternoon. It is Monday, so a new week has started. Today, uh, I think we will have a little look at unconditional love. I think we all know what unconditional love means. It means loving someone without any conditions. It's as basic as that. So what does that actually say? It says that you fully embrace another person without them having to perform in any way. So basically, you love them whether they are happy or sad whether they've made a mistake or not. You just love them for them being them. And that's it. They don't have to be anything, perform in any way, reach any standards. No, you just love them on a good day, on a bad day, every day. Now that's the love for someone else. And of course you can include your pets or anything uh, in that. How much more important though would you say it is to love yourself unconditionally? And I do think we all agree that that is much harder than saying yes to someone else. Yet, it is so very important because unless we really love and embrace ourselves as who and what we are, we cannot really move forward because it needs our saying yes to ourselves with all our faults, all our flaws, all the things that we think are not so great about us. We need to say, yes, I love you. Yes, I think that you're a great person. And we need to say that every morning when we look into the mirror until we really believe it. And once we start believing it, then we can start spreading the love. Because if there's nothing in us, how can we be expected to move on with the day, to move on giving to others? We need to say yes to ourselves and to understand ourselves properly before we can start taking the next steps on becoming even better people than we already are. So try that. Look into the mirror and say, you know what, you're a great guy or girl and I really love you. I love what you have achieved Apologies for the tractor. <laughs> I love what you have achieved. I love who you are. I love how you help others. Now go and help yourself. Be strong. Be confident. Be who you, when you were little, thought you would be. How far away from that are you? Have you reached your purpose in life? If not, it's time to work on it. And the first big step is to say yes to what you see in the mirror and not just the outside, of course. More importantly, what is inside you, who you are, what you've got to give and what you have already given to this world. So try that 
and if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them. If not, just enjoy the rest of the day and uh, I shall see you again on Wednesday. So have a good evening, afternoon or day, depending on wherever you are. All the best and thanks for listening.